Picture yourself in the world without globalization. Are you happy? You have no good medicine, fads or fashion, goods, or even interconnectedness between countries. Hi, my name is Courtney McCarthy, and I'm going to tell you why globalization helps us. Helps us. Okay. I'm going to talk about three main points. The first one is how globalization helps us, and what would be bad if we didn't have globalization, and how does globalization connect us? Globalization helps us be connected. For example, for example, um, it helps us be connected by having the same fads or fashions, wearing the same, so wearing the same type of brands, and eating the same type of foods, and knowing about other cultures. And it also makes us um, have governments from different countries be partners. So that means that people. The government in China, let's say, and the government in the USA can be partners. So in China, they can sell American goods, and in America, they can sell Chinese goods. And we would globalization helps us have good medicine, and so we wouldn't have to fly halfway across the world to get medicine. And we would not be able to fly halfway across the world if there wasn't globalization. And so there's a, there's a big chance that you would die. My second point is what we would not have if it wasn't for globalization. We would not have a lot of internet net sources such as Facebook, email, YouTube, and many others. And some of us would not even be born because our mom is from a different country than our father. So we would never be able to meet, they would have never been able to meet, and we wouldn't have been born. And also, another thing that would be bad, that we would not have fads such as Zara, H&M, and many others. Or fashions. So new fashion trends like skinny jeans and many others. Um, and my fifth point, um, and, th and now my third point is how does globalization connect us? But first, I have two facts. Globalization. Globalization leads to higher standard of living and many jobs, says Bustle.com. And globalization will help the whole world deal with crisis, like not a lot of jobs and poverty, according to Bustle.com. Okay, so how does globalization connect us? It connects us by having the same resources as, as others. And, and, our, and we have friends and family all over the world, so we can travel. We can have very good education, health, friends, family, and goods. And one very good thing about globalization is it stops global war. Because, like I said earlier, countries and governments want to be friends with, I mean, partners with other countries and governments. And here's what you can do. Stay connected and be global. Sean, any rebuttal? Yeah. Um, when you said, like, for social networks like Facebook and Gmail and, like, mail and stuff like that, people could send spam to you and say rude and mean comments. Uh, I'm Sean, and my topic is globalization. And I'm calling. I strongly disagree that globalization has a positive effect on our lives. And I'll, I, through my uh, presentation, I will tell you a couple of reasons why. In America, there was a lot. They invented lots of fast food stores like Wendy's and McDonald's and everything. Then, then those fast food stores got globalized, and now a big part of the world is struggling with obesity. Also, animals are dying rapidly for their skins and fur just so we can look fancy. Globalization encourages child labor and slavery. Workers have to put up with long working hours and little pay. In, in March, 
March 2010, over 27 million people were being enslaved so companies could keep going. And that number is still growing. For example, Nike used, used kids as workers for, for creating their goods. Because of globalization, cultural assimilation is happening. That's really bad because if any culture, if any um, culture had any unique properties, then they'll just get get lost. For example, Iraqi, they have dark skins and they they cover their whole body like so, and women even cover their faces so only their eyes can be shown. But then these bar Barbies are shipped in, and they have light skin. Um, like they have t-shirts and skirts and like their legs and arms are showing and then like probably in a while what if um, the Barbie like I mean the kids they're playing with this and then they start getting annoyed and they start like thinking why do we we have to walk around with our bodies covered up why can't we look like this why can't we have light skin Also because of globalization, the poor are becoming jealous of the rich. For example, if there was a poor lady sweeping the streets, barely earning enough money to survive, and then in front of her, a rich lady with snake shoes and alli an alligator purse and fur coats passes, how do you think the poor lady would feel? If we keep globalizing companies, people will become obese, and animal species will, will <coughs> become in, endangered and possibly extinct. Gas from cars and uh, exhaust from cars and factories could pro would, would start making a bigger hole in the ozone layer and that would take us closer to global warming. So think about the earth and what it's doing for us and then what we're doing in return. So please act now. <laughs> Rebuttal? Okay, well, um, you said that in Nike that they um, have child labor, but sometimes, like I know also in H&M, sometimes they have child labor, but it's not necessarily bad child labor. It could be modeling for the clothes or the, like, for Nike shoes that they sell, so it's not necessarily something that they don't want to do. Wait, am I allowed to read what? <laughs> and also, um, um, you said that um, about the lady, the rich lady, and the poor getting jealous. But like I said, um, that with globalization, it provides more jobs, and so it, it so the poor can try to get jobs that they don't need a college degree for, so that they can. Get 